Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, gonna be talking about ARC Market. It is currently ranked 1195 over on the Gek, <laughs> over on CoinGecko. It's up 28% in the last 24 hours. It's only got $5 million uh, dollar market, market cap. So it is very small and has potential upside. And at first look, most of the supply is already circulating, 71% of it. So that's always a good sign. I'm gonna review the project here, but keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. Always be sure to do your own research. On the main website, build anything, access Web3 anywhere. With ARC's extensive suite of tools, you can find everything you need to build and trade all of Web3. Scrolling down, you can see this is gonna be their main feature though. Meet the AI powered graphical user interface for Web3. So it looks like it's mostly a dApp builder and the builder itself is called an ARC reactor. So you have to stake a certain amount of ARC tokens in order to use the builder. But I'm told it is not permissioned. You don't have to KYC or anything like that. You just have to have enough tokens to be able to use it. It is AI powered, so if you're into these AI tokens here, the Arc Reactor is revolutionizing the world of code generation with its AI powered tech. So it looks like what they really wanna do is just make dApp building really easy to do. They've even got here making it safer, find exploits. The Arc Reactor's cutting edge tech enables it to detect and analyze potential system exploits in real time, even with their swaps, which I'm gonna show you their swaps here in a second. They're gonna have their own dApp store here, but check this out. They say, deploy to any chain with Arc Reactor. Deploying your decentralized app to any blockchain network is a breeze. They do have their own DeFi ecosystem, as they call it. It offers a comprehensive suite of tools, including a swap, farm, fiat on-ramp, and dashboard, enabling seamless access to decentralized finance freezes of all levels. So you can trade, you can farm, and I, you know, I see KYC here, my alarm bells automatically start ringing, right? But I did ask in their Telegram and this only applies to their on-ramp. Pretty cool that they're gonna have a dApp store here so you can create dApps with their software and then you can go and browse what are other people making and I'm sure they'll integrate a lot of different dApp interfaces here. So how this all ties together, develop with the reactor, build dApps, trade within the DeFi ecosystem, maybe tokens that your dApp has itself and share your dApp in the dApp store. One of their pillars here, I mean, a lot of them are just, you know, normal stuff. Efficiency, transparency, community driven, so they say. But the one I really liked, fully doxed team. Having a fully doxed team is a key pillar of ARC as we focus on providing transparency and accountability to stakeholders. A lot of this language I'm not a big fan of though, because it makes it sound like it could potentially be a security. And you could find their team lower on the page, TJ Dunham being the CEO and co-founder. This is what their market looks like. It's called Swaps AI. The swapping you can do, I don't think it matters where you live. The farm, I'm not gonna click on it. It geoblocks. So if you're in the United States and places like that, they're not allowing you to farm, which goes to some of that language I just mentioned with that security, compliance, and you know AML, KYC stuff. Not a big fan of that. So this is, they're kind of, toting the line, you know, make that for what you will. The networks they have, ETH, BNB, Polygon, all EVM chains. So you can't really swap outside of just the ETH chains. They haven't always been AI driven though. They initially started as a, a pioneering the future of the centralized exchange. So they start, this was written back in September 9th, 2021, and they were going to be a centralized exchange aggregator. I did a keyword search for the reactor, which is that dApp builder, and there's no mention of it at all back in 2021. Their swaps, they do claim, are on average 30% cheaper due to more efficient routing and other innovations and 40% faster than Uniswap. And here, I do believe they're mostly just talking about Ethereum again. It is pretty cool if they could be 30% cheaper on the gas. I asked in the Telegram group. I didn't get an answer fast enough to share in this video how that's possible. This is something that I have not seen anywhere before though. They are going to be using AI to make tokens safer through live analysis and generative audits. Live, I believe, while you're doing the swaps, they can tell you about the health and security of uh, token addresses. And then we get to the ARC virtual machine here. Key components of our technology, their technology, is this ARC virtual machine. One of the key features being its speed. It is designed to be over 90% faster than other virtual machines on the market, 
allowing it to handle large volumes of transactions without slowing down the network. This makes it an ideal solution for high throughput applications such as decentralized finance and gaming. How is it so fast? They mentioned two things here. The virtual machine uses advanced optimization techniques such as just-in-time compilation to compile smart contracts on the fly as they are executed. And this allows it to optimize the code, as they say here. Second, the ARC virtual machine uses a lightweight and flexible architecture that minimizes resource usage. This allows it to run on a wide range of devices and environments from higher performance servers to low power IoT devices. So I'm thinking like those Pi, you know, the Raspberry Pis, possibly there. This flexibility enables the virtual machine to operate efficiently across a wide range of applications, again, from DeFi to gaming. And they have this here, Lychee AI, Next Gen Isomorphic AI Engine. The main thing here, they're calling it the chat GPT of Web3. The Lychee AI Engine is a peer-to-peer -peer self-improving AI that can write, debug, analyze, improve, and understand software and smart contracts. So the way I'm looking at this is, while people are coding, there might be like a little widget that's up there that's helping people code or maybe even just coding off of prompts. On to the tokenomics here. It is an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum network and you can get a grasp of where everything went. There was only 5% that went to a public sale. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, most of the supply is out there and already circulating. So any token dumps that may have happened most of them have happened, although there is one coming up that I want to show you. As we scroll down and look for the team here, these tokens, these 180 million, which is 18% of the supply, these tokens have been relocked in Unicrypt, as mentioned previously. This is because the cliffs for the team have already been issued. So if you scroll up and look at the distribution, that's what you have here, 180 removed. And then at the end of this year, I guess you could say the beginning of next year in January, there's gonna be an unlock of 180 million tokens. So if you do decide to buy the ARC token, keep a lookout for that date because they could dump the token and we could see a price drop. Because all the tokens are out there and circulating, it's like, how is the project really gonna sustain itself? I didn't get a good answer to that. I asked about the fees and this is really what I got here. Someone said, uh, I believe the business case for DeFi Suite is the strongest. Fees on swaps, the bridge, and other trading tools, but it's likely that Reactor will have a business case for subscriptions as well. And another person says, this will be revenue from the Reactor and Swap DeFi portion of ARC. The DAP store will also play in that part as well. My thought though is that all these tokens are going to be pretty much released by the end of this year. So they have a very short timeline to make all this happen before they run out of, of runway or they're gonna have to do more seed round or maybe there's funding that I just don't know about or couldn't find. So that's a bit of a concern for me. Right now, the DAP builder, it's in beta. I don't think anybody can even use it right now. They're gonna add Cosmos, I think, next, they said in here in the Telegram, and then potentially Solana, but that would be later down the road. And they did a pivot. They were a centralized exchange aggregator and they've switched over to a DAP builder with AI, which seems like quite the pivot and they're trying to unify them together. I'm just not so sure that they're necessarily gonna be able to pull that off. But regardless, like I said, the token is pumping right now up 28% in the last 24 hours. So we're gonna have to see what happens with this one. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know your thoughts on this one as well down in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.